One! Oh, my students kept asking me to do this, and I kept saying, no, you'll kill yourself. <laughs> and then I talked to another physics instructor who did it as a special projects class, and she said it was fine. So I said, oh, let's give it a try. And so that was four years ago. But they learn a lot about working in teams. They work a little bit of learning that they should actually design something before they start building. And probably the biggest thing is working in a team. It's gotten larger. We go down to Moab to do a trial run because they have a contest down there around Halloween and around you know Halloween time. And then uh, it gets our students prepared. They make modifications, and then we have our final the final competition here actually on campus. So uh, so it's grown. And we've uh, we have ten here as you probably saw. Uh, we have eight. Uh, uh, the trebuchets are a combination of engineering and physics, and then two from the high schools, uh, Carbon High School and then uh, San Juan okay. High School down in Finding. So. It's been fun. It's been a good time. I think uh, Moab was a lot of fun. We went down there, did well through the third throw, the furthest throw for the competition. And then we had a misfire on our last fire that bent our axle, and we made some revisions for this competition to make sure the axle was strengthened, which the axle held up well this time, but the arm wasn't able to take the full load. We, uh, we had tried to sleeve it and it caused it to crack, and I think that's what caused it to fail. We have uh, two rails up at the top, and that's our axle on top of it with the two wheels um, straddling the, um, the rails. And then uh, up top we have a T-shaped uh, counterweight, and there's a pivot on the bottom. And uh, when we pull our, our rope that's up there, that's the trigger, and then that trigger um, unhooks the uh, T part and that swings down. When that swings down, part of this design is to unhook this bottom. So there's a double trigger on this uh, trebuchet. And uh, when that top goes down, a half second later, it drops this other pin. And um, when it flies, it's just set free. Well, it's a good time and students are always they're hesitant about it. They, a lot of them don't have any building experience or anything like that. So that's part of the reason I do it. And so they learn a little bit about building, and by the time once they, when they get here and they start throwing things and they go, you see it explode, they go, oh yeah, this was, it was cool. But they're not always happy when they're building. We were doing pretty good last Saturday. We, we uh, put all our full weight on, just 750 pounds, um, and we shot 570 feet. And, uh, we gotta take these stops up. Yeah, this, take the wheel this machine is pretty efficient. Uh, it puts most of the energy right into the whatever you're throwing, um, which is really nice because that's what we want. Um, and up top, our weight's adjustable. That's, uh, we got a lot of adjustable features on our trebuchet. It's uh, been welded and machined a little bit. Um, wow, you hear that creak? <laughs>